like this scaled down panorama of a West African port. Down there, a reproduction that's accurate to within six inches on the ground. And to get this kind of precision picture, the model makers take to the air to get a bird's eye view of a motorway under construction. The project begins on the tarmac when pilots, navigator and aerial cameraman from a Middlesex survey firm board their specially adapted spotter plane. This is a flight that has to keep a course dead on line. The target is the English countryside. The mission, to bring back pictures that pick out every detail seen from 1,500 feet. Pictures that will tell the engineer where to lay down his road. The photographer keeps constant contact with pilot and navigator who perches in the Perspex dome with spotting equipment that's a modern version of a wartime bomb aimer. The navigator has to keep a course over a strip of land just a mile wide. Every four seconds, the camera clicks, taking at least one picture of every square yard under survey. The result is a strip of giant negatives that are closely scrutinized before they're printed. With these pictures, the aerial survey experts make a photographic map. The pictures overlap by two-thirds and every feature is pinpointed so that a whole island, like Jersey, can be laid out on a table in every minute detail. And there's no time to flap as each field and hedge is cut into a jigsaw pattern of the real thing. From photographs to maps and land charts, made on a stereo plotter. Through his stereoscopic viewfinder, the operator sees the lie of the land in three dimensions. He gets the same view as the men in the plane and can trace around every feature of the landscape. Turning 3D pictures into maps the engineers can use and understand is the final stage of the aerial survey. From here, the motorway designers take over to pick the best route and plot a precision course that drops them right on target.